and we've got two older ponies here, one's 19, one's 20. This is the problem when you've got, this lady's been driving them for years, obviously. Uh, well known around the show ring. What's, um, what the problem is, I mean, I think these ponies used to do scurry and all sorts. The problem is now, the little mare, in my opinion, I'm not a vet, what I've done is massaged her back between this point and this point, right? Um, and loosened her up. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with her. I think she's just a little bit stiff in the muscle. That is allowed her, because what she was doing was definitely pulling herself along on her front feet. So let's just start there. She's pulling herself along on her front feet. She's not keeping pace with this horse. So, she's laid the back a little bit. The consequence of that is, which people don't seem to grasp or, you know, I've had to explain to the lady that owns them, um, is this. if this horse here is hanging back there like that, right, and this horse is pulling on, yes, your carriage will still move, but the natural consequence of that is he's pulling on that side of the fore carriage that side of the splinter bar, wanting to turn the carriage yeah, out into the road. So for the dear little pony here to keep it straight, he's now got to pull his pole strap, because he's pulling behind, and he's got to go at an angle to keep the vehicle moving straight down the road. So when this horse then feels the pole being pulled away, she's laying back and pulling away over there. So over there. So you had a situation like this where they're both going out. Now it's understanding the reason why that's happening and the problem we're going to have is explaining to the owner how to drive them. We've got them going now. They was also in butterfly bits. We've got them in a piece of rubber because this fella was old mouthed. Yeah, very old mouthed. So we've retrained him a bit. And the reason he was old mouthed is because all the rain was on him because this little girl weren't doing anything. So we put rubber bits in both of them and that's it. So see what I mean? This horse was back. This pony's back there. This one's forward. The consequence of him pulling forward, he started to pull out that way. She's felt the pole strap and gone that way. So you're driving down the road like this. So the more it she pulls, the more that one pulls there. That's now people it. think you can do the coupling reins to alter that and drag your coupling reins together. That's true to a certain extent. But what you need to do is to sort the major problem out which is one, getting home. Then you're going to deal with the problem that the horses are now going on what they think they should do. Yeah? They're going on memory. So he wants to get on and pull all the weight. He's not expecting her to do it. So that's why we've added the rubber bits, remouthed the pony, so he'll come back more and sit on the bit and he'll answer the voice far more. Now the lady thinks that the pony's worried about concrete and slipping over and is it this and it's nothing to do with that. It's just the way they're driven and if they're not driven correctly, the film will prove that they're doing the job here. If they're not driven correctly um, after leaving here, then they'll go back to where they were. We've also got them in rubber bits when they was in butterflies and he was down with curb chains and all that. Well, you can't add more iron to an horse's mouth, in my opinion, to make it soft mouth. While we're on the point, when the lady come before and we had the horses just for a day, just to have a brief look to see what was wrong, we altered the coupling reins to compensate. Yeah. Now, we've got the coupling reins identical, as you can see here. The holes being identical. 
Now that doesn't mean the reason they put a load of holes in coupling reins is so you can adjust them to suit each horse. But seeing these, these horses are going dead square together, the, the, the coupling reins obviously don't need adjusting, do they? Because if they're going dead square together and they're going at the same pace together and they're not pulling off the pole, why ever would you want to adjust them? There's no need to make the adjustment. It's been going wrong. As I understand it, I could be wrong, but I believe it's two years. They want it put right in a few days, a fortnight. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. It's in the horse's heads, you know, how they've been allowed to go, and it's nothing detrimental to the owner. This has crept up over a period of time, this problem, but it's not detrimental to them. I'm only interested in the horses and, and them being happy, you know, the ponies. The ponies really don't have a problem. This is a bit awkward to say, but I can only speak as I find and the way I see it, and my concern is the ponies, not the people that own them. So what I'm saying is it's been a driving problem, the driver's problem, rather than the pony's problem. They should never have been allowed to get to this stage that they need to come here. And, and a little bit of correction a long time ago, it, we, they wouldn't be here today because there would be no need. I don't mean that nasty or disrespectful to anybody in any way. I don't. I but... Uh, and I think what, what's happened, we have to give the lady the benefit of the, of the doubt here and her driving ability. This has crept up over a period of time. Um, but it should have been noticed before, perhaps, and corrected. It's always easier to nip something in the bud at the very start than it is, oh, you know, when it's been established in the, in the horse's head for a long time. Because it becomes habit forming. When you've got habit, that's a very hard thing to shift from horse. Take it from me, that's hard to shift. You can teach horse anything. Horse that teaches itself something. That's hard to shift. You know, very, very hard to shift. The yard. Our place is literally 100 yards behind. Steady, baby. And you see the mare, she's right on the pole. Yeah. She's not uh, pulling away at all. And when we trot, now trot, baby, just trot. Come on. Good job. Steady. I've only got a bit of rubber in. Steady, baby. So I'm driving these now, if you look at my hands, with my finger and thumb, we're going downhill now, can you see, they're not coming off the pole, I've got no brake on, and these ponies are just holding this back downhill, like that, you can see all the traces, slack as anything, and absolutely, just holding them there like that, look, right. So, um, you know, we've done our job, right? It's that the lady's now got to drive them as I tell her to, and they'll be perfect. So, come over there, baby.